Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about an experience I had with James, my fiance at Applebaum, where we bought a pen for him. Not for me, we did think about getting a pen for me, but I had a really hard time deciding what I would want because I have so much already and like some stuff that I wanted was out of her price range or some stuff was like, oh, I like it, but it's too close to what we have already. So I didn't get anything, uh, but he did get a pen. And um, Apple Bone Pen is like a little over an hour drive from our place or from my place. He doesn't actually live here, <laughs> he's just visiting. So we drove for an hour and 10 minutes uh, and we went to the store. It was like the first day stores were normally open again because we've been in lockdown and you could go to stores but only on appointment. So we were like one of their first normal customers again. And when we were there, we were helped by a lovely lady whose name I didn't get, I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I didn't know her, she was really nice. Um, and we tested a bunch of pens and we basically got to the uh, Leonardo section. Um, and as you might know, I have a Leonardo uh, Memento Zero Blue Hawaii. It is lovely. Um, and we tested a bunch of them. So we dipped a bunch and used them. It was great. There was one with the number eight nib. It was a giant, giant nib. And it was a soft gold nib and it was lovely. It was way out of our budget, but it was really cool to try it out. Um, we were kind of like apologetic because <laughs> they're gonna have to do a lot of cleaning um, but they're like no they're meant to be used and tried so it was really nice James eventually picked out a pen um, and it is Leonardo it is a let me grab the box it is a memento zero grande which is like the big brother of the normal memento zero and it's a piston filler um, now, he's still here, so I can actually steal it to do a video on it. Um, but yeah, it was a really nice experience. When we got it, it had a extra fine nib on it. They changed it out to fine nib for us because we were like, extra fine, too fine? Or James was like, I say we because like, what is his is mine. You know, we're gonna be married. Uh, but he picked it up. He picked it up fully. I did not like try to influence him. Um, so we have a fine nib on it now. Um, Yoast Applebaum actually changed the nib. Really nice. They were shooting, they were, start, they were gonna shoot a video. I saw it peaked. There were some really nice pens there. I took a picture, I didn't upload it because it felt like really weird. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> they're gonna probably make a video about this. But I think they have some exciting stuff coming soon. Um, but yeah, it was all around a really good experience. Like nice people, good service. The store is small, but they have plenty of stuff, and like they can, you can always ask like do you have different colors of this, because we saw an Opus 88 Fantasia or something. I don't remember the name fully anymore, but we saw it. There was only one color in the display. And they checked. They have different ones. Yeah, so you can always ask about that. And they're really gracious about it. And it was yeah, it was a good experience. Anyway, let's go look at the pen. Um, I will compare it a little bit to my own Leonardo because I want to show size differences and stuff. So, anyway, lots of rambling. Let's switch the shot. Let's go. Okay, let's start with the box because this is the box of the Grande. And then here I have the box of the normal Memento Zero. And it is definitely much much bigger um there's a reason for this this is just a pen coffin you know a pen box but this box contains something else um and you will probably guess it it is an ink that came with the pen we didn't actually know that it came with an ink we saw that when we got home so it comes with a bottle of Leonardo ink. It's a black ink, which is good. It's like a standard ink. Um, and yeah, it's a really nice, let me zoom out a little bit. Big box. Um, it is a little like over the top, I guess. But how are, uh, how are you gonna pack a pen and an ink in one box if you don't have a box this big? Anyway, let us take out the pen. But anyway, that's the packaging. It does feel like super luxury packaging and it's like, you can't hate on it. Or you can, but I mean, it's a luxury experience. It's what you get. So I didn't mention the price at first. 
It is, why won't you focus camera? Okay, there you go. It is a 300 euro pen and it is still a steel nib. Um, I like the Memento Zero nibs. Mine was a little iffy at first, but when I used it a little bit, it got definitely better. Um, we are dealing with some Dutch lighting here. I'm not really enjoying that. But this finish, so this, in my other video I showed you the Blue Hawaii. This is the Dark Blue Hawaii. So this finish is Dark Blue Hawaii. If we get some sunshine, it will be lovely. But you can still see like all the different colors in this pen. It is lovely. It has silver trim and a silver colored nib. It has that nice rolly ball clip. And it almost looks faceted, but this is not a faceted pen. It's just because the finish is so, like, the finish is faceted, but the pen is just completely round. It has that lovely concave top. And it's just gorgeous. Now, I will grab my normal Blue Hawaii. They're like brothers. There you go. And this is like the little brother. And they're both really lovely. So, James and I did some size comparisons with this one. I don't actually have the M800 with me up here, but we put it uh, next to a Pelican M800. The, um, the Leonardo is bigger. And as you can see, it is quite a lot bigger than the normal Memento Zero. I'll put them on paper so it might be a little bit clearer. It sticks out a lot. And then if you look at the nibs, the nib on the Grande is bigger too. Now it is probably quite hard to see because one is a rose gold nib and the other is a silver colored nib. But the nib is bigger. Both are steel nibs. And then the biggest difference I would say is that the Grande is a piston filler. So this is the piston knob and for the Blue Hawaii and normal, this is a blind, blind knob. Blind knob, blind cap. Good job, Marley. It's a blind cap. Uh, another difference is that there's like a silver metal band at the end here for the Grande and not for the normal Blue Hawaii. Don't know why that is. Maybe to reinforce the material. I love the feet on the Grande. Can you see that? It's a very funky shape. I don't know why. It's like it has no fins. Anyway, let me go into writing sample. So, big pen. Uh, James has bigger hands than I do. Um, it is very decent size when unposted. I'm not going to post it. You probably will be able to post it, but I think it will make it unwieldily big. And also, this finish, I don't think you should post it. Like, this is too precious looking to post. Let's just do a writing sample. So with my other Sailor, uh, Sailor, with my other um, Leonardo nib, I'm saying Sailor because there's no Sailor ink in here. I had a little bit like a, ba like a baby's bottom. Um, it cleared up a little bit when I did actually did my right example. Um, but right now I do still think it has a little bit of baby's bottom. This pen does not suffer from that. And we've had it uncapped for a long time right now and it still just starts up is very wet. Zero a grande. And the Ailer is Sailor Shigure. Which is a purple. Um, it does not look purple. It looks super dark. Um, it's because this pen is just super wet. Honestly, I love it. It is not completely smooth. Like there's a tiny bit of feedback on this but I don't mind that. It's, it's feedback, it's not scratchy. And um, it is just very wet. Very, very wet, very, very wet. 
and James has been enjoying it a lot, which makes me happy. So it was um, this pen was uh, 295 euros. This one was 178. So the difference is mostly the size of the pen, the nib, and the, the fact that this is a piston filler, which does have some value, IMO. Will you focus? Maybe not. Anyway, I have fallen for these pens. So I did like think about getting another, uh, another Leonardo, but I was like, oh, we're gonna have so many Leonardos. And it's really unnecessary. Um, so yeah, I didn't go for it. Maybe someday. I like the, the sand version of this one. It's like a light beige gray finish. And it's all around, very lovely. Anyway, all in all, I greatly recommend Leonardo, but also Oppolom. So if you're ever in the neighborhood of Laden, which most of you probably won't be, but go there. Otherwise, order online. Otherwise, they now have a store in Boston, I believe. Um, so maybe go there because it was an awesome experience and I'm assuming customer service will be similar at that store. Oh, look at that material, guys. You should all get Leonardo's. It is a great. Look at that. Anyway, enough gushing about Leonardo's. I love that like brownish tinge to it. <laughs> gushing over. I hope you enjoyed this video. I um, hope I'll see you soon. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments and I'll try to answer them. Um, my camera is very buddy right now. Does not want to focus on the pins. Oh, there we go. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.